Hi guys, in this video we're going to update the firmware of a micro BR to version 1.04. Um, this version is not easy to find. Um, there's a couple links in the description so you can find it. Um, the main uh, advantage of this update is that it allows the micro BR to support uh, two gigabyte cards now um, or it increases the compatibility. Now this um, particular micro BR is version 1.03 and here's another one that is version 1.04 and the way you check that is by holding down the cursor left and right and hitting power and it tells you what the uh, version number is so you can see these are two different version numbers now I actually have a uh, Toshiba 2 gigabyte card that I can actually read by both of these um, I actually was able to format it by both of them and record um, so I've heard that the micro BR only sports one gigabyte cards, but even on version 1.03, um, I was able to use a two gigabyte card. Now, I might have ran into problems down the line. I don't know. I, I don't really, uh, I'm not going to bother risking it. Um, but I just wanted to note that it actually, I was able to record a song and, uh, and, uh, and load it back in uh, without a problem. So, um, not exactly sure there, but. Uh, I know it does increase the compatibility. Now what happened was Roland apparently pulled the uh, update um, because uh, it, I guess, created a greater than normal amount of risk if the device ran out of battery power during the update um, or was disconnected from the power during the update. So they pulled it and um, somebody was nice enough to put it back out there. Uh, so I was able to, uh, to update it and I posted a link on my... Uh, in the description there so you can try it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. It's, it's a very simple uh, process. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna take a one gigabyte card, use a one gigabyte card, not a two gigabyte card because of compatibility reasons. You wanna make sure you're using a one gigabyte uh, quality card like a SanDisk. I recommend SanDisk because they're generally the most compatible card. Um, and you wanna format it in the device. Do not format it on a computer or on another device. If it's already formatted, format it again. Um, back up obviously what's ever on there if it's important and then format the card on this device um, and that's always true whether or not you're doing a firmware upgrade or you're um, recording songs with any new card you want to format it initially on this device once it's formatted you're good to go okay you can put it on a computer and take files off and on but if you ever need to format it always format on the device always format every new card even if it comes pre-formatted okay so once you've formatted this, you want to take it out, put it on the computer, and download the zip file and unzip the, um, the firmware files. Um, there are four firmware files in an M MBR directory, MBR update I think it's called, and you want to grab the files and put them in the root directory on this card. Okay, You don't want to put them in a subdirectory, put them right on the root directory. Now uh, make sure that they copied correctly, make sure your PC didn't lose power and uh, also make sure to use this safe remove if you're using windows make sure you're doing safe remove and make sure it says it's okay to remove it you don't want to take the card out when it hasn't completely finished writing the firmware files because if you use a bad firmware file you're just going to kill this device okay now i should warn you any firmware update has the possibility to brick your device um, and so you want to make sure that the batteries are fresh in this device or use an AC adapter but even if you used an AC adapter I'd strongly recommend having batteries as a backup you just don't want to have anybody to kick the cord out or anything like that I'm using fresh and batteries here so I'm not worried about it <clears throat> okay so now that I have the card in there I'm going to uh, perform the update so I'm going to press stop and record and power on the device Once I see that message, I can let go. And as you can see, it wants to update. And it's interesting because it's saying it wants to go from version one to 1.04. And we know this unit actually has 1.03 on it, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Now, yes is this button right here. Uh, a lot of people get confused with this device. A lot of times it will show, like in the utilities, it'll show four options and it res they correspond to the four buttons here. It's just like labels. Okay, so these buttons are used in many different functions. Anyway.
Um, so I'm going to hit yes. Now writing. Now it's checking. Now writing. Writing, writing. Okay, let's just wait. When it's all done, it should uh, give me a message about power, which means to power the device off. And at that point, um, I'm going to reformat the card. I'm going to turn the device on and then reformat the card. Now remember, you can turn the device back on again. As long as you don't hit these two buttons, it's not going to try to do the update again. Okay, so as soon as you're done with this, you want to make sure you wipe out the card again, get rid of the firmware update. Checking, good. So far, so good. And now you see the message here. This is uh, obviously some sort of checksum, but uh, I'm not sure if it's right or not. But any case, um, if it failed, I'm sure I would have known it. So now I'm just going to hit power here again. It's over this button. So oh, actually, yeah. Wait, that's interesting. It's actually got a message over a button that's not actually the button it just wants me to hit power so I will hit power okay now I'm gonna power it back on again and you should see I didn't <clears throat> I didn't get rid of the update yet but it loaded up fine but what I'm gonna do is shut it off and I'm going to check the update version before I wipe out the disk so cursor left and right and now you can see it's version 1.04 okay so now I'm going to power it down again power it back up again and go into utility oops I have to wait good now utility initialize now see what I mean about four options four buttons initialize card yes am i sure absolutely And there we go. And now the only uh, files on it are the uh, initial files for a single song. Um, and that's about it. So um, I hope that helps some of you out there. Like I said, the link for the um, for the firmware files is in the description area. Um, it should help apparently with the compatibility of two gigabyte cards. But like I said, I was able to use two gigabyte cards on both a 1.3 and a 1.4. Um, but I wouldn't risk it actually, uh, you know, the worst thing is to go through all that trouble of recording a song, getting a really nice take or a really nice, uh, idea and then having it not being able to write to the card or not being able to load it back. So, um, I've been using uh 1.04 for a while. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, and, uh, so I recommend it, but <clears throat> just realize that any firmware update is a risk and, if it breaks your device, that's on you. Uh, might take no responsibility for that and uh, just proceed at your own risk and um, uh, make sure you got batteries in this and make sure you format the card and use a one gigabyte card and format it on the device uh, before you copy the files and make sure you, when you ex ex eject the SD card from the computer, make sure it fully ejects doing a safe remove. Okay, those are like key concepts for any firmware update, okay? Um, and that's about it. Um, by the way, the the files, uh, uh, the instructions on the uh, in the zip file are in German, um, but just run them through Google Translate. Um, there might be a translation file, translated file in there as well. Um, but if not, just run them through Google Translate. But this video should pretty much help you get through that entire process. Anyway, well, good luck, and I hope it works out for y'all. Take care. Oh, by the way, um, please subscribe. Check out my other videos. You know, same old, same old. All right. Take care. Bye.